What's going on, my fellow movie lovers, and welcome back to the Luke Ponzo channel. We got another Blu ray haul here for you guys. This is going to be an insane haul. Picked up a lot of titles this month. January was such a packed month for physical media, not really for movies and theaters. But I picked up a good amount of stuff that I cannot wait to show you guys that I'm adding to my collection. So, if you guys are new to the channel and want to see a lot more physical media content, hit the subscribe button down below and click the notification bell to get notified of all the videos I upload. And hit the thumbs up as well because it's very beneficial for me to get my content out there. So guys, let's begin the haul. I'm going to try to go through this as fast as I can. So here's uh, Brothers. First one started off. The Towering Inferno, basically kind of the movie that Skyscraper ripped off. Dinner for Schmucks. Vice, a very good Adam McKay film. I prefer Don't Look Up over this movie, but I really enjoy it. Dick Christian Bale was phenomenal as Vice President Dick Cheney. I really enjoy that one. The Addams Family, because I also bought the second one. I'll show you guys that one in a little bit. Elysium. Straw Dogs, the remake of Straw Dogs. I reviewed this on the channel. I got so much good things to say about this movie. So check out my review. I'll put a link in the link in the description. Opelousa. A, movie, a lot of people don't know this movie was actually directed by Ed Harris. So that's what had me curious about the film to check it out. The Purge. The very first movie. Need to get the Purge election year. Then I have all the movies. Hitman's Bodyguard, a Walmart exclusive uh, slipcover that I really do like. I like the like the slipcover quite a bit. And in general, I think it's a really good movie. I really do enjoy The Hitman's Bodyguard. Next three are, are also upgrades. We got Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, and Venom. All three of these are the black and gold slipcovers that Walmart has. I love these slipcovers, and I'm so happy that I upgraded them to Blu-ray. Then we got Raya and the Last Dragon. I found this for $15. I finally bit the bullet on this one. Then we got 2012, a absolute mess. But you know what? I found it for $2, so I couldn't go wrong with that. Then we got Raging Fire, a movie with Donnie Yen that I'm actually very curious to check out. It looks interesting. Then we got Sleepers, really good film. Anomalisa, one of my favorite films of all time. Absolutely love this film. And I will put a link in the description below that goes to my review for this movie as well. Oops. Got a few more here. We got Exodus, Gods and Kings, Dark Shadows, Shanghai Noon, and Shanghai Nights. Both movies I haven't seen in a while, but I found it. But I found this uh, collection for ten dollars at Walmart, so I was like, I should get both of these and just watch them again. Then we got Rise of the Planet of the Apes and The Punisher, the Thomas Jane Punisher. Um. You guys may be wondering why I did not buy the 4K Steelbook. Well, I love the design. I will say that for sure. I love the design of the Steelbook. But I heard the 4K did not look very good. So, and I found this Blu-ray for $5 at Goodwill. So I was like, I should just get the Blu-ray, honestly. But yeah, if I do feel like it, I probably will upgrade this to 4K. Just for the Steelbook. I'm going to be honest. And we got Safe House. We have two films that I think are better than people give them credit for. Stillwater and The Card Counter. Both films by Focus Features, which are films that I think are a lot better than people give them credit for. Then we got Blue Bayo. Never seen this film, but I've heard but I've heard decent things about it. Demon Slayer, the movie. Uh, shout out to AJ Reacts 2 for watching this film with me. I really enjoyed this. It's got me interested in actually watching the show. Zeros and Ones, uh, Ethan Hawke movie from the director of Bad Lieutenant and King of New York, has my interest, but I haven't even opened it yet. The only film I even have in my collection right now that I haven't even opened yet. So I'll check this out at some point. I don't know when I will watch it, though. Then I got three new releases that I added to the collection that are on Blu-ray. Adam's Family 2, Halloween Kills, and my favorite film of 2021, Last Night in Soho. I did review both of these films on my channel. I haven't reviewed this one, but I reviewed these two. But I will leave links in the description below that goes to the, my reviews of these. Shout out to um, Zach Goller and uh, Jacob Hubbard for really motivating me to watch this film. It was so freaking good. And this was my favorite film of last year, and also for Jacob Hubbard. So 
thank you guys for recommending me to watch this film. It was such a good film. I mean, I was looking forward to it by the time, it, like, when it was coming out because it was Edgar Wright and, and Thomas and McKenzie and Anya Taylor-Joy, of course. But I wasn't thinking it was going to be that great of a film. It was such a good movie. We got some Lionsgate Steelbooks to cover here. We got Wonder. I love this design. This is the Target exclusive edition of Wonder on Steelbook. Show you guys the inside of the Steelbook. Here's the front and the back. Wonder is a great film by uh, Stephen Chbosky, who also recently brought you the crappy Dear Evan Hansen. This film is better. Watch this film over Dear Evan Hansen. Then we got Rob Zombie's 31 on Steelbook, the Blu-ray Steelbook, another exclusive at Target. I've never seen this movie, but I probably won't. I don't, I don't know if I'll ever will watch it because my buddy Benji Sandergaard said this film was not very good. So I don't know if I really have any interest in watching it, but I mainly got it because of the gorgeous looking Steelbook. Look at this, guys. This is a really nice design for the Steelbook for 31. It's got some nice artwork on the inside. Here's the front and the back of the Steelbook. So that's the main reason why I got it was because of the Steelbook. I didn't really get it because of the movie. I wanted the Steelbook. So I picked that up. It was on sale for $15 as well. And possibly now my favorite Steelbook that I own in my collection, Hacksaw Ridge, the 4K Steelbook from Best Buy. This thing is gorgeous. Taking out the slip cover. Oh, yes. Look at that gorgeous steel book, guys. I love this design. Here's the uh, inside cover for this one. Here's the front and the back. And in general, Hacksaw Ridge is one of my favorite war films, if you guys don't know. I adore this film with all of my heart. You know what? Maybe if I watch this film again, this might creep up into my favorites of all time, if I'm going to be honest. Because Hacksaw Ridge is such a brutal film in regards to the war aspect. And it's handled so well from Mel Gibson. It is such a great film. So if you guys have not seen Hacksaw Ridge, check it out. It's awesome. Got some 4Ks to cover right here. We got Ghostbusters, one of my favorites of all time. So happy I upgraded that to 4K. Atomic Blonde definitely gets convoluted at times, but you know what? It's a blast. Really enjoy that one. Universal Soldier on 4K, found it for $5. Halloween 2018, I prefer this one over Kills. Smoking and the Bandit on 4K. Scream. The 4K you've been seeing in my background for the uh, Scream series reviews. Really love this film. One of my favorites of all time. I also did review this as well. Batman Year 1 on 4K, the commemorative edition. Two, two more 4Ks. Yeah, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, an absolute classic of my childhood. The 4K doesn't really look all that great, but it's, it's a great watch. And my top three favorite films of 2021... I double dipped on Dune. Got the 4K version. I also got the uh, Walmart exclusive pain box, which is gorgeous. And I'll leave a link in the description below. It goes to my review for the film and my unboxing for this pain box. I just love this film so much that I feel like I had to get two versions of this film. I almost wanted to triple dip on it, maybe get the Steelbook or maybe the Target exclusive of this movie. But I couldn't find them anywhere. So I'm fine with the two editions I have of this film because it's such a great film. So you guys have not seen Dune check it out even get the 4k and that does it you guys for this blu-ray haul for january 2021 thank you guys so much for watching this video and, can, and your continued support of the channel so far hit that subscribe button once again and also hit that notification bell to get notified of all the videos i upload and hit the thumbs up as well you guys y'all are, are just the best i love you guys so much we'll look forward to more awesome content here on the channel very very soon i still got my Candyman series coming up. We've got some new releases to cover in February, like Jackass Forever, uh, Death of the Nile, Uncharted. Some, some great stuff coming up in here 2021. Thank you guys once again for watching. If you guys want to see more content from me, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.